It's taught me so much, uh, just valuing, valuing yourself and your craft. Um, remembering how to uh, always keep integrity of over yourself, you know, and always stay, stay on top of your game. And when you're not, you might end up at the bottom too. <laughs> stay, um, stay focused. That's what it, it, it taught me a lot, to stay focused. And even if you don't have, um, even if you're not at your best potential, always do your best. I just got over laryngitis. Like, before I came here, my voice is totally different from battles, knockouts, and blinds. And it's been crazy. It's been This journey's been crazy, but I've been pushing through it. And yeah, I'm still here, man. God is good. He was getting a little emotional there mm. if you were listening to his voice. So no matter what happens tonight, DeAndre says he's so thankful for you guys. And as you heard, God is good. Last night, he performed in The Voice's Top Ten, singing That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. And it was picked by his coach, Adam. And it was a hit with the live audience. But it's all up to the at-home voters. Two performers are going to be eliminated tonight. And you can catch the eliminations right here on KJAC NBC at 7 o'clock. What did you think about last night? We've been hearing a lot of folks discuss song choice. Um, and so I want to know what you, what you think. Do you think Bruno Mars was the right song for last night? I'll tell you what, I'm not going to say who it was, but there was one person that does work here. They were not crazy about uh, DeAndre picking that specific song. But after that person heard it, the person was like, okay, that ended up being a good choice or whatever. I think it's a good idea to kind of pick a more mainstreamish song that's relatively recent mm -hmm. because more people that are watching, if you get a little bit of that younger crowd, say you're a 15 to 30 year old crowd, and that's really what you're kind of going after. I feel like when it comes to people trying to vote and things of that nature, you want a song that everybody knows. And I mean, a lot of people do know that Bruno Mars song. So if for nothing else, as far as the familiarity with that song, it was a good choice just All for right, that alone. Let's hope that keeps them around.